facing low FPS and input delay in Fortnite? So this video is for you. In this video, I will show you how pros like Peterbot, Martos, and others get maximum FPS in Fortnite Chapter 6. I will show you some important settings. These settings are revealed by pro players, so guys hit the like button and make sure to subscribe. Let's get started. To optimize your graphics and input settings for Fortnite, start with the basics by heading to the settings menu. The first option you'll encounter is window mode. Selecting full screen is a great choice for maximizing FPS and reducing input delay, but many players prefer windowed full screen as it often provides better 1% lows, leading to a smoother gameplay experience. Which option you choose depends on personal preference. Pros like Peterbot and Mr. Savage tend to favor windowed full screen, while others like Martaz and Clicks prefer full screen. If you go with full screen, make sure your resolution is set to match your monitor's native size, as this can always be adjusted later using the 3D resolution setting, no matter your PC's performance. For V-Sync, it's best to keep it off. While V-Sync reduces screen tearing, it also increases latency. Instead, use frame rate limiting to effectively address screen tearing. Screen tearing happens when your FPS doesn't match your monitor's refresh rate, which is more common on lower-end PCs or monitors that lack adaptive sync technologies like AMD FreeSync or NVIDIA G-Sync. By capping your FPS close to your monitor's refresh rate, you can improve synchronization and reduce input delay by up to 10 milliseconds, as this helps prevent a buildup of rendered frames. However, NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, which we'll cover later, can completely eliminate this issue. When it comes to rendering modes, Fortnite now recommends using DirectX 12 DX12 to help reduce stuttering. However, DX12 can result in higher render times, which may not be ideal for competitive gameplay. Additionally, settings like view distance and build meshes in DX12 are interconnected, creating some limitations. For example, higher view distances automatically enable high meshes, which can reduce FPS. For smoother gameplay, most players still prefer performance mode, especially in build modes. For graphics quality, it's best to set all options to low for the best performance, except for view distance, which can be kept at medium or far depending on your preference. Lowering the 3D resolution can help improve FPS, but be careful not to reduce it to a point where the visuals become unplayable. Regarding low meshes versus high meshes, high meshes let you see through fully built structures, but they come at a performance cost. Low meshes are generally better for maintaining higher FPS and minimizing distractions. NVIDIA users should enable NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, which reduces the render queue to improve responsiveness without compromising FPS. Set it to ON plus boost if your PC can handle it. Otherwise, start with the standard ON setting and test performance. If you're using AMD hardware, enable Radeon Anti-Lag in the AMD software under the Gaming and Graphics tabs. This feature is especially effective in GPU limited scenarios such as in Fortnite. Finally, it's important to test these settings to find what works best for your system, as hardware and personal preferences can vary. By carefully fine-tuning these options, you can achieve the optimal balance of performance, input responsiveness, and visual clarity, giving you a competitive edge in gameplay. Now, guys, download this Fortnite Chapter 6 FPS Boost Pack with just one click from my website. The link is in the description, so after downloading this pack, extract it on the desktop and open the folder. First, open this optimization folder. Here are some important registry files, so install them one by one. After that, go back and run this Ultimate Windows Tweaker. Here you'll see your system specs, but the primary focus here is optimizing performance. In the Performance section, I recommend mirroring all of my settings. This includes disabling auto-starting and non-responsive programs, enabling restart shot automatic after some error, and turning off smooth scrolling and edge preloading. These adjustments help minimize unnecessary visual effects that consume excess CPU and RAM resources. Additionally, ensure that you disable several Windows 10 services, including the Tablet Input Service, Windows Security Center Service, and Prefetch Service. The Prefetch Service, in particular, deals with temporary data that can slow down your system, so disabling it will enhance performance. If you're using a printer, you can leave the printer spool service enabled, but if you're not, feel free to disable it. After making all these changes, click Apply Tweaks. Your screen will refresh and the settings will be applied. Next, head to the Additional section and select Network Tweaks. Again, follow the same procedure. Copy all of my settings. This includes enabling the Network Adapter Onboard Processor, 
restricting access to anonymous connections, and disabling certain network-related features like recent shares and the default admin disk driver share server. Also, make sure your network is hidden from network discovery and the browser list. Once these network tweaks are applied, click Apply Tweaks to optimize your network settings. After you're finished, click Close. The program will recommend restarting your PC for the changes to take full effect. Although a restart is suggested, it's not strictly necessary. But for the best results, a quick restart is ideal. So guys, now in the next step, you need to download the Lago Fast on your PC to boost your FPS and lower your ping in Fortnite and thousand plus other games. So simply download and install the Lego Fast. Link is available in the video description. So after installing this tool, here you will find this kind of interface of the Lego Fast. And in the very first step, you need to log into your account here using your email address. Therefore, you can use this tool on your PC. So now here on the left side, you will find an option for optimizing your PC or your console for getting the easy lobby and for boosting your FPS in any game. So guys, go for the Home tab. There you will find all installed apps and games available on your PC. If you just go for the PC tab here, you will find all the games available on your PC. You can go for the search bar and search for your favorite game. So guys, here we want to optimize Fortnite. So you need to go for this boost button. This will also optimize your ping and also help you to boost the FPS. This is right now one of the best pieces of software in the market, which helps you to optimize your ping and optimize your PC performance at the same time with just a single click. So guys, here you can check out here. Our PC is connected with the Lago Fast server, and the Lago Fast server is connected with the Bahrain server, and there is less than one MS ping between the Lago Fast and Bahrain servers, and this software is optimizing the path for us. So now once you have boosted your favorite game, now go for the start game option and note your game using this option for boosting the FPS and for getting the lower. Go to Task Manager and head over to the Services tab. Scroll all the way down and you'll see services like Box Auth Manager, Xbox Game Save, Xbox Chips VC, and Xbox Net. If you're not using the Xbox Control Panel, you should disable these services. For most of you watching this video, you likely don't need them either. If you use the Xbox Game Bar to record clips, you should turn it off as well. I'll get into that in a moment, but for now, right-click each of these services and select Stop. Once you've done this, restart your PC at the at the end of the mod video. That's perfectly fine. Disabling these services will prevent them from running in the background, saving your CPU resources. Each of these services uses around 5 to 10 processors, so together, they could be taking up 40 processors. This means I'll be using 183 processors instead of the 143 I'm currently running. These small adjustments can make a big difference in your PC's performance, so I highly recommend disabling them. So, guys, that's it for today's video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more useful videos in the future. Thanks for watching and peace out.